Now, using tags is a key idea that's in Salon that allows you to sort of filter through all the tags to find the things that are important to you. For example, in this uh, particular video, we see that 73 comments and 34 replies. So there's obviously comments on this video as well as replies. So that means some discussion was happening. So let's go to that video and take a look at these things. Now, if you go through all the 73 comments, you can see them all here, but that can be too much to sort through. So there are a few things you can do. One is to uh, go to the filters. So let's go to the filters and, and find out uh, the certain tags. So for example, I am only interested in uh, reaction comments. So I picked reaction. So now I can go through these reaction comments and read them. And if I want to watch the video piece related to that, I can do that too. And also I can look at the uh, a, a, a response to a reaction and so on. So that's a great way for you to sort of navigate through these reaction tags. So I can go to the uh, next tag and the next tag and the next tag and the next tag, and then I'll close this here. So a good way to, uh, to use tags is to sort of filter. If you have a lot of comments, you can filter by them. And also you can filter by so if I want to go back to the, all the comments, I can say show all, or you can filter by people. So for instance, I'm going to just worry about, you know, two students in my class. Uh, so I can kind of see what they're doing because I see that they're doing really well or they are struggling. I can actually see uh, those two students or one student. So that gives you a very, very easy way for you to find out information regarding uh, a student or students. So using filters is a great way to really do things uh, that is very difficult to do with uh, sort of a traditional uh, course management system. Uh, I hope you find this interesting.